So as a journalist, I never love to be part of the story because we report the story, but in a time like this, when it's politics, you have to be part of the story. And you see, it's a record. I've got nothing against Bola Menchin anymore. I love everybody equally because it's my injunction as a Christian to love. I've got nothing against my Egbo, Bayon Oluga, and Mr. Delia Laki. I love them as professionals in their own fields. But also, the kind of journalism I was taught. Anyway, they abuse me all the time that I'm not a journalist. But I've spent quite so many years in this business. Yeah. I might, look, I might not look it, but I've done well over 16, going to 17 years. In Lagos alone, I've put in close to 10 years on radio before I came. So I didn't just drop from the skies. I know my stuff. I've worked with the best media brands all over the world. I've also mentored a lot of people in this business. But I think the stress here is objectivity. I will be objective in my coverage of every presidential candidate. And what you cannot fault me for is that I've been objective with all the presidential candidates. Part of the toughest interviews we had here has been with Peter Obi. Mm -hmm. And trust me, the kind of heat we give to Mr. Peter Obi when he's here, I'm not sure we've been able to interview other presidential candidates. That way. On this platform like that. Yeah. And that's the level of objectivity. Because you see, they say all sorts about me. They do all sorts. But what I want them to know is that I love them, irrespective of the hatred that is being meted out of me. I'm a child of love. I was conceived in love. They even went further, and thank God Dr. Abati was there. They took a picture of Peter Obi and me and Jando mm. at my own father's day of tribute. Mm. You couldn't even allow my father to rest in peace before they brought my father, my dear father, the love of my life into politics while I was still breathing. And they labeled it a political gathering. 